How we doing today, everybody? I am up in the world. I am in uh, what's hopefully someday going to be my office whenever I decide to get out of my ass and finish it. But I'm not going to do that. I have for you today a blast from the past, Bascat style. Bascat blast from the past. But just because we're going to do this and Jordan's going to throw all these cool graphics and this music and all this awesome stuff. But beforehand, I would like to know, because we're getting such a push, such a push from people from all over the world, if you can believe it. South Africa, you rock. South Africa, you guys down there rock. Um, we had like seven or eight comments on the last one just from South Africa. So I would like to know where you are located in the country, in the world. Comment on our little comment part here, because Jordan's gonna flip up this comment thing right now. Probably down here, it's gonna go up. Comment down below here and tell me where you're from and why you watch what we do. Tell me that, just get involved and talk about that. So. Off of that subject, onto the other subject, my merchandise is doing good. Get on there, order some merch. Get on, get on the website, order merch. Black hats are back. The gray and black are still there, but I do have black hats. We're struggling on a double X and some of that stuff, but there is some stuff available. Get on there, make sure you get on there and purchase some stuff. Now, back to the blast from the past. You ready? Here we go, bam. All right, blast from the past, pass cap. What we found was a 2002 Cougar, an 02 Cougar basket um, with a 2017 250 Pro XS on it, two stroke, two stroke 2017. But we went and found this boat, it's in Texas, and we, of course, we, of course, of course, Al from, ba from Basswood Central gave us his blessing and allowed us to come on here and do this. So thanks, Al, for all you do at Basswood Central. We love you, appreciate it. Um, so right away, off the bat, I saw this boat, and I'm like, Jordan, I think we should do this boat, Blast from the Past. He's like, yeah, cool, all right, let's do it. So this is why I went with this thing. This thing has been completely redone. The boat itself has not been done, but the carpet's been fixed. It's got brand new latches. It's got a bunch of new stuff, battery charger. Um, it's got a bunch of compartment lids that have been whatever fixed, whatever, but the carpet is mint. The boat itself does not have any fading, no cracking, no nothing. It looks like a great boat. Um, it is from Jason Bean, it looks like, B-E. E-N-E-55 in Texas. So I mean, you'll find it on there. So here's the deal. The only thing I'm looking at here, it's got uh, Helix, it's got three uh, new Optima batteries, it's got new carpet, new tires, tandem extra trailer, basket cover, um, new stainless locks, that's what I was just telling you about on the compartments, battery charger, motor has 30 hours on it, like three zero, 30 hours on it. Um, the only thing that I would throw in the garbage is probably the Trova. Not that I don't like the Trova, You'd be able to sell the Trova, but the Trova for me on a bass boat's not the deal. It's not the answer. I would throw that overboard, probably sell it out on the old Craigslist or maybe Facebook or maybe just give it to somebody because they need one. And I would put the Altrex on. I would put the Altrex on this boat and be good. So you'd literally, that's all you'd have to do in my life. Just literally Trova off, Altrex on, boom, done. You got yourself a tournament boat. All right, so now you're asking me how much is this boat, right? And everybody's like, eh. it's an O2 Cougar with a 17 250 Pro XS with 30 hours, new tires, new carpeting, uh, new locks in the compartments. It's got helixes, like I said, you gotta throw the trove away and uh, add that, it's got new batteries. It, it, I mean, it literally is ready to tournament fish. 28 grand, 28 grand, you get yourself that boat. Tandem axle, brand new tires, ready to rock and roll. Um, Jason's number is here, it looks like. Uh, it looks like, call Jason right here at uh, beep, 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 beep. That's what we're gonna do for that. Um, Let's get into the ride. Should we get into the ride? Let's do the ride. My ride feel on this boat is probably, it's probably a, an eight out of 10, maybe eight and a half out of 10 when it comes to the ride. Um, just because I personally haven't ridden in many Cougars. Um, I've ridden in some Bass Cats, lots of them, but I haven't ridden in many Cougars. But from what I have ridden in, and you know, it's on driver too, you know, sometimes you end up with a driver, don't know what the hell he's doing or whatever. But that's why I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Just from my experiences, I'd say about an eight and a half. Um, the fishability, the fishability in that in that cat is probably a nine. There's definitely a nine factor on the fishability. Big front deck, wide, don't have high gunnels. Everything is nice, easy to fish out of. Um, it definitely does what you need it to do. So uh, the fishability is probably a nine. The quality of the boat's gonna be a 10. Uh, what Bass Cat does, they're, they definitely build a, a quality boat. Definitely a quality boat. So I'm gonna give them a 10. Speed-wise, I'm gonna give it probably a nine. Nine to a nine and a half, maybe right in that ballpark, because it's not at the bullet, blazer, ballistic, gambler deal, I don't think. But I think it's gonna be a high 70s, 80s boat, probably with the 250 on it. So I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. Did I say nine and a half to be in, or did I go 10? Nine and a half, nine, nine and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. That's where we're fluctuating, nine, nine and a half. 
Um, so now we come to Jordan's favorite thing in the world, the intangibles. Um, I hate the intangibles because I don't really give a damn about the intangibles, but Jordan does, so I'm gonna write. Um, it's, he basically, what we're talking about is the Pierce family. How long have they been building boats? Forever. They've been building boats forever. Rick's been doing this forever. Um, you get the quality, you get the craftsmanship, and you get the reliability, and you know that the basket's not going anywhere. So you get that when you're getting that. So the intangible is that, that they've been around forever and the quality's there. So that's the intangible when it comes to the basket boat. The value, I think there's a lot of value in this boat. Um, here's a $28,000 boat. You can pick it up probably for 26, five-ish, probably 27, maybe. Um, if you're gonna drive all the way to get it, it probably could work with you. I bet you on that at 27,000, you're gonna sell that Tarova. You're gonna make a little, you're gonna make some money back. You gotta buy an Altrex. You're probably gonna have another a uh, thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, maybe somewhere in that ballpark, and you can get your. So yeah, you're gonna be. You need to. You need to get this boat for twenty six, five, twenty seven thousand bucks, and then you're gonna be ready to rock and roll. You're gonna have twenty eight thousand on the outside, twenty eight five, and you're gonna have a boat that you're you're competitive in, and it's ready to rock and roll. You don't gotta worry about carpet. The seats are in great shape. The dash looks good. I mean, the boat itself shines really good. So for you know twenty eight and a half thousand dollars, you're determined, ready, ready to rock and roll. Now. You want to put poles on it, you want to do that type of stuff, yeah, now we're into another five, six, seven thousand bucks. We're starting to do things, change up some electronics. You're going to get over that 30 mark. But to go out and buy the boat and to go, be able to go fishing and be able to be tournament ready at 28, 28, 5, it's a good boat. It really is. It's a good boat. It's a definitely a quality boat for the blast from the past thing. Now, the reason I went after it was an 02, 2002 Cougar. People are like, well, 02, the boat's 20 years old. 20 years old and still looks, you know, it looks damn near showroom. So. It's definitely a boat I'd take a look at. I don't know when it was posted. It looked like it was posted a while ago, but it's still on there. So, I know Al didn't get it off there. Well, didn't get off there. That's just the way it is. Uh, but you can definitely take a look at it. Definitely go on uh, Bass Boat Central. Bass Cat. Can you give me? Scroll down. It's about halfway, isn't it? Somewhere right in that ballpark. You'll see it. It's red, white, right? Red and white. Red flake. So, yeah. Great carpet. Nice looking boat. Really nice looking boat. So let's just give a quick run back. My personal experience, positive and negative, uh, it's really all been positive with uh, Bass Cat. There wasn't much negativity that went through it. Some of the rating things were difficult after the fact, but I mean positive. The ride, I think I was at like an eight and a half. Fishability was a nine, quality, definitely a 10. Speed, about a nine, nine and a half. Intangibles, I'm not gonna go into it because Jordan likes it. Um, value, is, I would say your value here is probably a nine, definitely. You definitely get a nine back. So at the end of it, man, that's a five from the past. It's a great boat, go look at it. And through all the comments that we're gonna do, maybe one, two, maybe four or five of you just comment about uh, what blast from the past you'd like to see. Uh, is it Stratos? Um, is it an old Ranger? Is it, uh, I don't know, just tell me. Tell me what you wanna see. Do you wanna see a Tide Crest? Well, let's go find a Tide Crest. You, know, you wanna see a winter, a winner? I mean, I'm sorry, a winner boat? Let's go find a winner, that'd be Are you laughing? Are you laughing at my winner? I left all those cookies there for you. I All right. Neil wants to see a winner. So somebody comment, Neil, we want you in a, in a winner. Because Neil wants to be a winner with his new haircut. You should see him. It just looks like, you look like, you look like a f***ing beetle. I mean, I mean, if we, if we shave your beard down, you look like a beetle with this on it. I mean, he's tucking it behind his ears now, guys. I mean, it's getting out of control. All right, anyway, that's it. Blast from the past is over. I'm leaving. I'm going back to work because Mason's not getting anything done today because he's hungover. So I got to go back to work. Here we go. I'm out. As always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that Mason Viner back there somewhere is saying speed, money, and no breaks. I'm out. See you.